because I know some of you don't like me. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today, as the title says, we are going to be spilling the tea, reacting to your assumptions about me. This video is so popular right now, and I've been very into watching them, as I'm sure you have if you clicked on this. I didn't get as many questions as I would have liked. I think because Instagram doesn't have an anonymous feature, if it did, I'm sure I would have got a shit ton of responses of people just saying their assumptions about me, especially people in my real life. I did get enough to certainly film a video. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into my reactions and all of the assumptions that I got. Okay, let's go. So the first one is pursuing YouTube and Instagram have really helped you find yourself. I would say this is a true assumption. Definitely YouTube more than Instagram. YouTube has definitely helped me a ton in feeling more comfortable in my own, coming into my own, that kind of thing. And it's definitely helped my creativity. It gives me an outlet. Definitely YouTube just because it is that much more vulnerable. You're sitting in your room talking to a camera and putting yourself out there for people to judge you which is what this video is. So I definitely think that they both helped me find myself, but definitely more so YouTube. You live with your parents, question mark. Yes, I do. Uh, I'm 23 years old and I moved back home out of university. I actually live with my mom. My parents are divorced. Yeah, I would like to move out within the next year. That is the goal. Next spring, I'd like to move out. So hopefully I can move out soon. Hopefully I can save up and stop shopping and buying makeup and just like get my shit together. Yes, right now I live with my parents my mom. You speak French, question mark. I actually do not. This is actually a funny one because I was born and raised till I was like three or four in Montreal. So I actually grew up speaking French from when I was born. I spoke both French and English, but when we moved to Ontario near Toronto, my parents didn't put me in French immersion or anything. And we had French, mandatory French in elementary school and part of high school, but I was never very good at it. Never really had a desire to learn it. I definitely kind of looking back now wish that I had or taken it more seriously, but say la vie. You've always been hella good at makeup. This is an interesting one. I don't think there was ever a point where I was really bad at makeup. I think I was just learning. When I first started wearing it, I didn't really think of it as a passion. I just kind of put it on because I felt that I had to in high school and stuff, and I never really wore all that much. If I can, I'll find a pic and insert some pictures, selfies of me in high school so that you guys can see how I did my makeup back then. I don't think I was ever really bad at makeup, but to assume that I was always hella good is definitely incorrect. I have not always had the skills that I do now. Okay, you love traveling. I do. I wish I could do it more than I do, but because of money and everything I do and working full time, you only get so many vacation days. I was fortunate enough to go traveling a little bit with my family when I was younger. We went to France and we had a timeshare in Mexico, so we went to Mexico a bit. I spent part of a summer in Nicaragua when I was little. That kind of little, I was like 15. That sparked my travel bug, I would say. Traveled a little bit in Canada. I've been to most of the East Coast. I've been to the West Coast, Vancouver, like most of the East Coast in the States I've been to. And then I've been to California. Went on exchange my last semester of university. I traveled to Switzerland. I traveled to Ireland. I was living in the UK. So I went to England, obviously, uh, the Netherlands. I went to Spain. I went to France twice. It was a good amount. And then um, I really wanted want to go back to Europe this fall. My boyfriend and I are thinking of maybe going back. We just both can't agree on what countries we want to go to because he was on exchange at the same time and we both went to a lot of different places. But um, long story short, assumption is correct. I love traveling. No assumption, just want to say that you're stunning and I love you. Thank you. That was sweet. You were raised wealthy, wink. I wouldn't say so. Um, I wouldn't say that I was raised in a low income household. My parents both work and they both have really good jobs. They both went to university. They both got master's degrees, but I wouldn't say that I was raised wealthy. I always had to pretty much purchase a lot of my items in high school and stuff with my own money. I would babysit. I worked uh, part-time jobs all throughout high school. I wouldn't say that I was raised wealthy, but um, my parents are definitely well-established, I would say. Um, you're spoiled by your dad. 
That's another kind of wealth associated one. Maybe you're assuming this based off my what I got for Christmas video because his gifts that he got me were just very thoughtful and caring. He's always been that way. So I wouldn't say that I'm spoiled by him. Um, the gifts that he has given me throughout my life have not been extravagant, but he does a good job of paying attention to what I like and purchasing things centered around that. So he's very attentive and a very thoughtful gift giver, I would say. Um, you like Target over Walmart. Absolutely, 100%. I am, to begin with, not a very big fan of Walmart. I just don't really like going in the stores. Um, I find their product a little like turned over and it's just not very clean all the time. So I'm not a huge Walmart fan to begin with, but I am a huge Target fan. So I would say that I hugely prefer Target over Walmart. Um, this is from a personal friend of mine. I assumed you were quiet and shy when I met you in grade nine. You turned out to be a lunatic. That is not an assumption. That is a statement. It's true. Um, you are a boss babe that knows what she wants and doesn't settle for less. I love this. I think that's interesting because oftentimes I kind of kick myself for not speaking up for myself. I'm not a person that does well with confrontation. I'm very quiet and reserved. So speaking up for myself and not settling is something that's hard for me in areas that I can't always control. So it definitely depends on what area of my life you're talking about. This is half right, I would say, because, um... Sometimes I settle for less because I'm scared to speak up, but um, I definitely know what I want and in most regards, in areas that I can control, I don't settle for less. So I would say that that's a pretty true assumption. And yeah, with that, that is all of my assumptions. Uh, spilling the tea. I honestly wish I got some like just straight up rude ones that I could answer just because I think they're interesting and I don't really care what people think of me but I understand why people wouldn't want to submit that because it isn't anonymous. So maybe if Instagram gets that feature one day, I will do another one of these and get some spicy assumptions because I know some of you don't like me, probably, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are already, if you found me through this. Now you know a bit about me. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I hope you had an absolutely awesome day. Bye.